Hey everyone, Mossy Ranch Backyard Farm here. Uh, it's the beginning of June and uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about pruning your espalier trees. Uh, here I have my uh, four-way apple espalier that I have here in my vegetable patch and um, I'm just going to use it as an example. So I already pruned it once and I pruned most of it um, in early spring after after flowering. Uh, now I'm gonna do my start my main cutting. So what I'm looking for is uh, thinning out, making good air circulation between each uh, level here, each branching. Um, cut out anything that's growing out or anywhere that's not where I want it to be, and uh, leaving in mind the buds, um, the fruiting buds. And uh, also, we wait, I waited for uh, the fruit to set. Um, this tree already dropped. It's been warm, so this tree already did its June drop, which uh, around June it drops some of its crop. Uh, you know, all the weak um, buds or fruit that's not gonna make it. Uh, like, for example, this stuff. It's just about to drop. It pulls off easy. We're going to clip it out. We have a lot of fruit, so we're not going to waste our time with uh, little puny fruit. Um, another thing is I like to leave space uh, about a hand, hand length, so four fingers between each fruit, and that ensures a nice uh, big size fruit and uh, um, also good flavor. So quantity isn't always best. I like to go for quality. Uh, although it breaks my heart every time I have to pick uh, any any fruit off my trees because I wait all year for it. Um, so I'm going to give an example here. Uh, we have a cluster of like two fruits. So I'm going to pick out the largest, healthiest one, the one that's going, pointing out, that's uh, going to hit the sun and mature quicker. So I'm going to clip that off. You can twist them off. I like to clip them just because... Uh, um, sometimes I, it clips off the one I don't want to go. Uh, let's see if I can find another cluster so I can show you. Here we have a, a cluster of, there's five of them here, so I'm going to probably, out of these five, I'm probably just going to keep two. So this one, you can see the size compared to the other one. I cut it off. I'm going to cut it off because it's too close to the other one, and probably take this one and keep this one that's pointing right to the sun uh, so it can mature. So leave in just four fingers length. This is actually three. I might clip that off completely actually and uh, let that one mature. Here we have another cluster of three. Uh, I'm going to actually clip this leaf. So this one is the biggest of the three so I'm going to clip the other ones out and leave it and so on and so forth so um, breaks my heart but and my my little Italian friend uh, that has fruit trees he always likes to leave all his fruit on but I just find that you get much better fruit if you thin it out there's a cluster of three I'm gonna clip them all out and leave just one so uh, it's best in the end if you do this, better for the tree and for yourself. But as you can see, this this apple tree is just loaded with fruit, so I'll stay, still get a quite a good harvest. Another thing I wanna I look for is any branches that are growing out or anywhere where I don't want them to go. I cut those. Um, and just uh, look for any diseased wood or leaves or anything like that. So I'm going to clip all that out. Don't need it. This one's growing out. Clip it out. And just make sure you get nice air circulation. Um, apples are pretty forgiving. Uh, once you get in the main trunks, though, if you cut, <clears throat> if you don't make your good cuts right from the get-go, you kind of tend to get uh, like this, extending branches over time because uh, I've accidentally cut out the fruiting wood out of here so um, you kind of get into that over the years you're gonna have to get more 
uh, branches sticking out out of the main trunk. So uh, prune every year so it doesn't get out of hand. And uh, see how it's growing all up here. I'm going to clip it all out. I'm going to probably clip all that down. Just make sure you don't clip out more than a third of uh, the tree at any time. Another in there. It's a nice day. It's warm. Good day for clipping. It's kind of relaxing. And enjoy your yard and your fruit.